Consider this. You have a REST API, which is integrated with an AWS Lambda function and deployed with the Amazon API Gateway. Now, you want to enable cores or cross-origin resource sharing so you can call your API using an HTTP request from a different domain. How do you do this using the API Gateway? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on Create Function and give your function a name. Choose Python from the Runtime dropdown, hit Create Function, then scroll down to the Code Source section. Here, I'm going to update the return statement to hello from Lambda string, then hit Deploy. Click on Test, then hit Invoke to execute your Lambda function and confirm that it's working as expected. Next, navigate to the API Gateway service, click Create API, then hit Build in the REST API section. Give your API a name, hit Create, then choose Create Method from the Actions dropdown. Select Get, leave the integration type to Lambda function, then choose the Lambda function that we just created, then hit Save. Click on test to test your get method and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in the response body. Now that our API is working as expected, let's deploy it by going to the actions dropdown, then hit deploy. I'm going to create a new deployment stage and call it QA, then hit deploy. Click on the invoke URL and confirm that you see hello from Lambda in your browser's output. Next. Let's try to call this API from w3schools.com. To do that, I'm going to copy paste pre-written HTML code into a w3schools editor. Let's replace the URL string with our invoke URL, then hit run and click on the test button. Looks like nothing happened. To troubleshoot this, let's open the developer tools and navigate to the console logs. It seems like our request was blocked by the course policy. To fix this, let's head back to the API Gateway window and click on the Actions dropdown. Select Enable Cores, then navigate to the Access Control Allow Origin text box. Here, I'm going to enter w3schools.com with the HTTPS protocol, then hit Enable Cores. Next. Let's deploy our changes by going to the Actions dropdown, then hit Deploy API. Select QA for deployment stage, then hit Deploy. Give it a few minutes for our changes to propagate, then head back to the W3Schools editor and hit the Test button. This time, it seems like I'm getting another error, which says that the expected domain value does not match the actual domain. This is happening because I forgot to add www in front of the domain. To fix this, let's head back to the Actions dropdown again and click on Enable Cores. To avoid any errors, I'm just going to copy-paste the expected domain this time, then hit Enable Cores. Next, let's deploy our API to the QA deployment stage and head back to the W3Schools editor. Give it a few minutes for our changes to propagate, then hit the test button to confirm that you see hello from Lambda without any error. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer get lost in the jungle with Amazon API Gateway?